Hey guys, welcome to a, another commentary done by Diggity. I got a bit of a sick voice because I got tested. It's not COVID, uh, but missed a few casting days as a result, which is unfortunate because there's a lot of Gosu League, or sorry, a lot of Hasu League to cover. Feels like Gosu League this season. Nine o'clock location, we have Ghost first starting as the Black Protoss. Three o'clock location, we have White starting as the White Protoss, which I actually love the Black versus White thing. This is going to be replay. And right off the bat, We've got a Probe Scout, so let me sneak it out for myself, because I like listening to the front of these. But this is going to be the first game of the Losers match. Or, sorry, the final match. First game of the final match to see who advances to the round of eight and who gets eliminated. In the first set of matches, we saw Gosefer win out. But honestly, I feel like, I feel like it could have been anyone's game all the way across the board. This, I was going to say, Heartbreak Ridge, one of those maps where absolutely anything can happen. The Probe Scout sneaks around that edge. Does not look like Gosefer sees it. And there is space to... This is going to be a proxy 2 gate interior to the main. Not shocking considering the nature of this map. I was going to say Heartbreak Ridge in particular is a challenging map because there's so many places to hide proxies. And even if you don't end up with proxies, Dragoon versus Dragoon fights in the middle of the map with the spokes. They can be absolutely devastating. So single gate opener currently... For Gosefer. So that is going to give him the overall production lead. Now let's see if he opens 2-gate or not. If he opens 2-gate, it's going to come down to a flat micro battle. If he And you can see he's going the northern route just to make sure that he's not missing. He's trying to find the proxies out there. So 2-gate opener now for White. And we don't see a probe moving out to grab that second... Oh, okay, he is going to go ahead and plant down that second gateway. So as things stand, Gosefer has a small lead, both in probes... And economy. However, that can change rapidly as Zelts can walk right into his probe line. So it's going to be a bit of micro, micro fighting all the way around. And what is this? No, Gosefer is holding up at the twelve, the one o'clock location. He's going to try to proxy tech immediately without scouting. Little does he know that his opponent's already in his main. His first zealot, three force produced, and actually, if that zealot starts sneaking out towards the main. White might be in trouble as well. So it's going to be probes just fighting a zealot alone. So both gateways up on both sides. First zealot out. And the we'll see how this plays out. So first zealot actually holding holding steady and blocking the ramp. A third gateway now being planted from Gosefer at the 12 o'clock location. This has turned into a nutty match. That is going to give White... A significant advantage, a pylon being planted in the main. The two zealots right there, the probe scattering. Gosefer's got to be kicking himself right now. He does not cancel this gateway. The probe scout now moving in. And the probe's coming off the line to try to engage. Now keep in mind, closer reinforcements, or sorry, even reinforcements for both players. This is exact, you know, the gateway is just going to sit here and produce the troops. Probe's pulling off. Two zealots now moving up. The pressure's on white to get this done, but keep in mind there's a difference of a full gateway worth of units to make this happen and that is playing out as far as two zealots right this second but he needs to press this advantage while he has it so moving out getting some damage there getting get another probe kill he's now currently leading in probe kills overall more pylons being plant planted and a shield battery the zealots scooting up trying to get something done but there's gg from gosifer just yeah having the the proxy gateway just put him in too much of a hole. So quick one. Quick victory for White. That's unfortunate. So both players, so one player getting caught with his pants down. The other player, I guess, doing the pantsing. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.